Hi, I'm Dr. Chad Larson. Probiotics are promoters of health, promoters of life, and probiotics are beneficial bacteria that live in our gastrointestinal system for the most part. And uh, probiotics um, could be contained in certain foods, especially fermented foods, but for various reasons, um, most of our diets don't contain enough fermented foods to provide the amount of probiotic that's necessary for, for uh, uh, optimal health. So many of us have to get probiotics in a supplement. But not all probiotic supplements are created equally. So first of all, let's talk for a moment about why pro probiotics are, are so important. And uh, the gastrointestinal tract contains about three pounds of bacteria. And at any given time, this could be mostly beneficial bacteria or it can be non-beneficial and even pathologic bacteria in the gastrointestinal system. Depending on what foods we eat and what kind of lifestyle we have will dictate our, our level of balance between good and bad uh, bacteria in the gastrointestinal system. And uh, most of the immune system is right around the GI tract. Uh, you know, 65% of the immune system is right around the gastrointestinal system. So the health of our gut is very much at the centerpiece to the general health of our body, uh, especially with regard to our immune system. So it's very important that we have uh, proper and healthy gastrointestinal function. In fact, some say that if the gut is sick, then we're sick in general. If the gut is healthy, then in general, the entire body is healthier and works better. So there's uh, a few things that, that probiotics have been shown to be beneficial for. Uh, from everything from uh, headache prevention and even cancer prevention. prevention. Uh, it's been shown to help lower cholesterol by its effect on the gastrointestinal system and the liver. Um, it's also been shown to be uh, uh, helpful, of course, for the immune system. And many different types of immune challenges uh, in, in immune deficiency conditions have been shown to be uh, helped and supported by uh, proper probiotic intake. Uh, also, uh, probiotics, of course, are a first aid for flatulence. So, um, so probiotics are very beneficial, but they're not all created equally. Some probiotics are better than others. There's one in particular that I want to spend a moment on, and it's called Lactobacillus sporogenes. Um, and the sporogenes form of Lactobacillus is in a spore. It's contained in a capsule that um, is very resistant to the onslaught of the gastrointestinal system, gastric juices, stomach acid, enzymes, other things that could uh, oftentimes destroy other types of bacteria that we ingest. Um, it helps to survive the upper part of the intestine and get all the way down to the lower part of the intestine where the spore germinates and gives us all the great benefits that probiotics give us. So this lactobacillus sporogenes has been studied over and over again to really demonstrate some, some very uh, positive uh, uses. And, uh